Hi Leo, welcome to your March, April Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, tapping into an energy today of someone that's around you. Could be physically or someone who's uh, energetically around you. During the time period of March going into April 2024, this could be a friend, family member, lover, potential lover, spouse. I was, I'm leaving it completely open to spirit with who comes through for you, Leo. And of course, for my cross watchers out there, this may resonate the opposite way around. So it could be a Leo. All right, let's take a look here, Leo. Hope you don't mind. I've got a uh, tarot companion here today. This is Steve. He wants to sit in on some readings with me, so I hope that uh, that you don't mind Steve hanging out with us for a while. He's a sloth, and uh, yeah, he just likes to hang out. So, uh, so let's see, let's see what's up for you, Leo. Your person of interest. March going into April for my Leos, please, spirit. All right. Well, I'm putting down the cards, guys. So please. Uh, do press that thumbs up button. I'd be super appreciative if you would do that. Thank you so much uh, in advance, guys. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes here on the channel. Actually, I'll get Steve to hold that one. And uh, yeah, and of course, welcome. Uh, welcome to my newcomers and a uh, special welcome to my regular viewers as well. Leo, let's see. I'm going to start with your energy. Of course, feel free to flip this out if it's resonating the other way around. It is a general reading. And this won't be for everyone today, of course. So, Leo, let's see. What is Leo's energy for March going into April, please? For Leo. For Leo. For Leo. I'm going to get one to come out uh, completely. There we go. All right. Oh, this is not for the first time that I've seen this. Safety. You know, it's it's like keeping everything safe, uh, feeling safe, feeling protected. Your friends, your family members, the people that you live with, um, even your the house or the uh, the apartment that you live in. This feeling of protecting what is yours, Leo. Okay. Uh, right, you know, a lot of stuff going on out in the world today. I get it completely. And uh, let's see your person of interest. What's going on with them? Leo's person of interest. What's going on with them? March, April 2024. Ooh. Ooh. Anger. What are they angry about? Hmm. Ooh, okay. Gosh, guys, hope this person isn't being too aggressive uh, with you. We'll uh, we'll see where that goes. We'll get the connecting energy. That'll give us an idea of just how angry uh, this person may be. Ooh. Okay. Let's see, spirit. What connects these two? All right. Oh, all right. Well, this is definitely a feeling that this is your card. It reminds me of the strength card in the tarot. You see this this woman who's meant to be uh, Queen Elizabeth I and the lion at her feet. And she is taming the beast, taming the lion. And, of course, she was a great leader. She stepped up. Uh, she was... Uh, certainly no one would uh, would mess with, with, uh, with the queen. And what I'm getting around that is is very much an energy of, of don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. So if you're resonating more as the feminine energy in this reading, there's a feeling here of rising up and showing strength against someone who may be uh, showing anger towards you for, for some reason here. Leo, let's get into the reading. In the past... Oh dear, yeah, Five of Swords. Not surprised to see that there with all this anger and aggression coming out in this reading. Five of Swords. So it certainly is a sense here of somebody feeling. Okay, I'm getting this. 
Now, I'm not saying that this is how things were, but this is how they perceived it, okay? Leo, this person is angry because they feel that they their needs, their wants, their desires have been pushed back in favour of other people, okay? Now, it could have, could be directed completely at you, it could be directed at people in general. But I feel that this person is showing strength, but in the wrong way. It feels like a distorted masculine energy around this person and what I mean by that is that rather than show, you know, when you think of a great leader, right, they show strength through stoicism, not through being angry at, at people around them. Uh, they show strength by being someone that can be counted on. They show strength by showing compassion I'm thinking of Winston Churchill, you know, and people like that, it, it, as opposed to some leaders of today, which are more, uh, I want to say, dictatorial, and I'm not going to name any names here or get political, but you guys can work that out for yourselves. So there's, there's this leadership of stoicism, which feels to me like that's you here, Leo, you're, you're meeting this, this angry person here with stoicism. Hmm. All right. Now, again, I'm not saying that they that you did anything to this person. You may or you may not have, but they are perceiving it that way. They are perceiving that you have stolen their power, and to get back at you and and other people around them, I feel that this person is uh, gone into fight mode. Now, the present energy. The Ace of Swords, oh yeah, boy, they're, they're coming at you with weapons here, I mean, not, not, not really, it's not literal, at least I hope it's not, I mean, Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords, there does seem to be an escalation of conflict here, there's an escalation of conflict, it seems like your, your inner world here is reflecting the outer world. You know, when we think about the world today, there is escalation of conflict. And it seems that that's being mirrored into, into your own house, your, your own... Um, it could be workplace as well, it doesn't have to be a, a, a home. The energy around the feminine is justice in reverse. Yeah. Being blamed, uh, taking the brunt of something unfairly I feel oh gosh guys and the energy around the masculine is the sun but in reverse so there's some arrogance here there's a there's there's an arrogance somebody's taking the blame they're showing strength with the page of swords in reverse mm, yeah not not a great energy it, it's like this person is using Okay, <laughs> this is going to sound really bad, but it's coming out in the reading, so I'm going to have to say it. It's like they're trying to have verbal fights with people, but they're coming up short in terms of the way that they express themselves. Okay, they may not have the ability, they may not have the... Uh, the amount of words or there's something here where I feel like this person although very smart and, and, and maybe very strategic uh, maybe quite calculated in nature there's something about the words here that, that this person finds hard to communicate there's this person has trouble communicating their needs and, and that may be why this person is angry because they, that part of it may be that they're anger, angered at themselves for not being able to communicate their own needs and wants and desires. It's like this person walks away in defeat rather than, this is in the past, they've walked away in defeat rather than express their own needs and desires. And this has made them resentful, which has turned into anger. And yeah, and I see an escalation of conflict here between the two of you, this person still finding it difficult to communicate but it's coming out in 
probably small ways for, at first, being angry at, at little things and, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's an escalation. The challenge is the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel that this person cannot express themselves well emotionally. There's something here where this person has a block on their heart chakra. The hope with this person, Leo, is the... Um, okay, we've got uh, the death card here now. In this deck, it's called the broom. And the broom is about needing to tidy up to make space for something better. Mm, okay. So there's an energy around this of... Oh, okay. Yeah. This person feels very... I don't even know how to describe it. It, it feels a little bit like um, this person wants to run. Now, I don't feel physically, but emotionally, I feel that they want to run away rather than deal with some issues that they really do need to, to deal with. It's something about themselves here that they're not dealing with. I, I feel like this person wants change in their life. They want change. They, they want to, to do some hard hard things in their life like make radical changes but they're not doing it they're not doing it and and it, they've only got themselves to blame i mean you know, this person has to be accountable for uh, for making the change in their life but they're not doing it the fear and the reason why they're not doing it is judgment in reverse so they're fearing negative judgment from people around them probably including you here leo and this seems to be all going on behind uh, closed doors. They're fearing negative judgment from people around them if they uh, express themselves. But I feel that they're going to. There, there is a an escalation of conflict here, and I feel that this is, it's going to come out first in a very petty kind of ways, you know, digging at you. But then, then it's going to get more and more and more. Now, the goal for this person here, Leo, Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person uh, seems to almost want to push you out or push you away so as not to take responsibility. I feel that this person is trying to... Trying to, to go through this, this personal change, this deep change that they want to make in their life, but it's like they don't want to be blamed for it. Ooh. Not loving the energy around that. This person is is not is not wanting to take accountability or to be responsible for cleaning up their own life. I feel like this person has a bit of a mess to clean up with you, Leo. I feel like they've done you dirty. They've been very arrogant. They've kind of blamed you for them not being able to make this change in their life. This person is very curious about what else is out there. I'm also getting that message from Spirit. Hmm. Now, what they're trying to avoid... Yeah, King of Pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to avoid um, grown-up responsibility. You know, when you think of a King of Pentacles, and I feel that this is the person we're talking about here, Leo, they could be an Earth sign. I'm um, getting Virgo, I'm getting... Um, Capricorn, I'm also getting Taurus. Uh, this person, you know, the, the King of Pentacles is, is uh, typically a married person, uh, somebody who uh, is uh, has children. This is somebody who is uh, responsible for making good decisions when it comes to home, family, money, all of that kind of stuff. It, it's somewhat of a staid person as well, a stable person. Uh, this person's trying to avoid that. I feel like they're uh, 
they're not ready it, it feels like this person is is not ready not ready to commit not ready to be married okay now around them here's this strength card now this is you here Leo you're having to put up with a lot around this person because you, you seem to be taking the blame for all of their inability to to make a change in their life you know, that you may be living with this person they may, they may have asked you uh, to move in with them uh, some of you may have a cat I'm, I'm getting that as well as uh, cats on both of these cards and uh, you know you you seem to have a comfortable life i feel like the two of you have a very comfortable life it's a it's a good life there's there's nothing wrong with it but what is wrong is that this person is angry but i don't feel that they're really angry at you leo it's more about they're angry at themselves for not being able to make this change and unfortunately i get that you may be bearing the brunt of this person's anger now other people here we've got the magician yeah so it, there may be other people in this person's life that are I, I get one person in particular it could be a I get male or female it's not a gender specific reading but I do get more of a masculine energy it could be a Gemini uh, or it could even be somebody here who is communicating with this person like advising them what to do in this situation but I feel like they're advising them uh, wrongly I feel like they're advising them to be aggressive uh, that they need to be aggressive to go after what they want no no strength isn't about aggression but it's 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 not about lying back and being a pushover either you know i feel this person feels like they've been a pushover in the past that people have railroaded them uh, that people have just gone past them and, and and made decisions for them this person feels that way that their life has been handled by other people and and they may even be saying that about you here leo as well but here's the thing this person's refusing to take responsibility for their own change and they can change this the, i feel that they are going to change this but the way that they're being advised to change this is in showing anger as as strength whereas this person really should be yes speaking their truth but not in an angry way and not not in a blaming kind of way because that's not going to get them really anywhere now the next next action for this person is uh, oh gosh we've got the uh, we've got the devil card here yeah this this person is going to free themselves they are that I feel like this person is going to cut themselves free from this situation what's hidden is the page of pentacles and i feel that this person is, is is starting over starting fresh i feel like they're, they're they're going for something new now that could manifest differently of course in in everyone's uh, life but the main thing that i'm getting around this this person is it's not bad the reasoning why they want this the only thing that is uh, toxic here is the way that they free themselves uh, it, with this page energy i have to be honest it feels quite um, this person's either young or, or they're um, someone who uh, still has a lot to learn about relationships uh, taking accountability for themselves it feels a little tantrum throwy to me this this person but ultimately i feel that they they seem to be on the right track i mean they they i feel like they they've been wanting this for a while uh, they've wanted to uh, 
to clean up their, their life, they've wanted to uh, start fresh, start over, and they, they are going to do that. But the way in which they're doing it is, is quite childlike. And then we've got the Knight of Wands as the outcome. Yeah, I feel like this person is, is, is freeing themselves here, Leo. I, I, I get that they... Anything that was holding them back in the past from not expressing themselves, uh, I feel like the chains are off and this, and this person is going to uh, quite quickly and, and quite radically uh, speak, their, speak their mind here, guys. Yes. So, Leo, let's, uh, let's get a card on this because, um, you know, th this might be very difficult because I feel like this person is going to go out in like a big blaze of anger. Leo, let's see what's going on here. Things coming to light. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's going to be changes here. You're going to have to adapt. Uh, there may be healing involved, Leo. Uh, this person here. And for some of you, you may have even thought about getting engaged to this person, or for some of you, there may have been an engagement in the past. Uh, perhaps you thought that this was a committed relationship that was going to come to a complete union. Um, it does feel like this person is not ready for this, uh, Leo. I have wedding rings and moving on closure issues. Yeah, well, the thing is, I feel like this is going to leave... The way in which this person leaves is going to lead, lead to a whole lot of questions on your part. Understandably so, because you, you saw this as something that was heading in, in this direction of a, a strong union, a strong partnership. Uh, but this person didn't see it that way. At least they may have changed their mind. Um, I am getting that. But for some reason, I do get a strong energy here that this may, even when this person does do this, I, I feel like it's it's not over. Uh, it's not over. I feel like there's going to be closure issues, uh, mainly because the way this person leaves is is going to be um, difficult to do, difficult to deal with. Yeah. So uh, Leo it won't be for everyone, of course. Um, yeah, so check out your other sign placements if this one is not resonating with you at all. I feel it's only for someone who, th who was with someone that was probably for a while living living with them, it was heading in the direction of marriage, you may have even gotten engaged, and then this person has decided to um, go in a different direction. Leo, yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Wish you uh, very well uh, with this because it, it is a difficult energy, I know. And again, it won't be for everyone, so don't take it if it's not yours. Feel free uh, to um, subscribe, like, and share me on your social media if you've gotten something out of this reading or at least found it, um, found it interesting. And Leo, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store and purchase directly there. Thank you, Leo. Please take care, and bye for now.